In this video, we will look at extending ST1 connectivity to AWS through a manual integration method to AWS Transit Gateway. As this could be a long video, I will break the video into two parts. In a subsequent video, we will see how Cisco ST1 with its cloud on-prem multi-cloud automation provides a simple and easy way to extend the connectivity from on-premise to AWS Cloud. Attached is the topology we will use for the demo. I have two spoke VPCs in AWS already configured with the required subnets and route tables. I also have an on-premise ST1 router connected to the ST1 controller. We will create a transit VPC and onboard a Cisco 8000V router. For this demo, I'll just be using a single router. I will register this router to the ST1 controller and build the ST1 tunnel towards the on-premise ST1 router. We will then create a TGW and connect our spoke VPCs as VPC attachment and the transit VPC as a VPN attachment and run IPsec and BGP between our ST1 routers and the TGW and then propagate and exchange the required routes. Though we could also use other types of attachments like the gateway connector or VPC attachment. For this demo, we will stick to the VPN attachment for the transit VPC. With that, let's begin. Let's go to our VPC dashboard and create our transit VPC. Let's call this transit VPC. Let's give it a CDR, CADR of 10, 10, 13, 0, slash 24. Let's create an intent gateway. Let's call this transit VPC IGW. Let's attach this to a VPC. Let's create a subnet. Let's call this transit VPC subnet. And let's put the CIDR as 10, 10, 13, 0, slash 24. Now let's edit the subnet settings to allow public IP assignment. Now let's go to route tables and create a transit VPC route table. Let's call this transit VPC RT. Choose a VPC. Let's associate a subnet now. And let's also add our default route towards the, our internet gateway. Let's now onboard our Cisco 8000V into our transit VPC. Let's go to our vManage dashboard. We already have our on-premise ST1 router up and running. Now let's go to templates. I already have a template for C8KB. Let's look at this template. It only has a basic configuration of a transport VPN. A transport interface defined as Gigabit Ethernet 1 and a service VPN defined as VPN 1. Let's go ahead and attach this template. Let's pass on the necessary configuration parameters. Let's call this AWS TGW RTR, system IP of 66661, and a site ID of 600, 600. Let's quickly take a look at the configuration. So this is the basic configuration that will get pushed. Now the template is scheduled to be pushed to the device when it comes online. Now let's use this configuration to generate our bootstrap configuration. So let's go to configuration devices. Let's choose a device and generate bootstrap configuration. Let's click OK and let's download this configuration. Now we will use this bootstrap configuration while bringing up the router in AWS. Let's go to AWS EC2 console and launch an instance. So let's click launch. Let's search for C8000V. Let's choose PYOL. 
let's click on previous versions i've already subscribed to the software so let's continue with the configuration let's choose the version as 17.62 and the region as eu london let's continue to launch and here i'll use launch from ec2 let's choose our instance type as t3 medium let's configure let's choose a vpc as transit vpc let's come down and use our bootstrap configuration as a user data let's choose as file and then select a file which we just downloaded Just click next I'll leave the storage as default so let's create a new security group let's call this ssh and icmp and open up ssh access and icmp access for this demo i'll open up for all the ip addresses Let's launch. Let's choose a key pair and launch instance. Now this will take some time and I will pause the video and come back once the instance is ready. Now our instance is up and running. It has got a private IP address from a CRI range and a public IP address as well. Ideally, in a production scenario, you will assign an elastic IP address. But for this demo, I'll just use the auto associated public IP addresses that I received from AWS. Let's go to vManage dashboard. And now you can see we have two edges up and running, and they have successful BFT sessions established between them. Uh, if you quickly log into the router, you will also see that they are successfully exchanging routes. The Transit VPC router is now learning the routes. From the on-premise router as well. Let's go to our VPC dashboard and create the transit gateway. Let's click create transit gateway. Let's call this STVAN TGW. Let's use 6452 as the TGW ASN and disable default route table propagation as we will be creating separate route tables for our VPCs. Let's wait for the TGW to become available. The TGW is now available. Let's create our transit gateway route tables. Let's create a route table called TGW VPC RT. This is for our spoke VPCs and associated to our TGW. Let's create another route table called TGW Transit RT for our transit VPC. Route tables are now available. Let's create our TGW attachments. Let's create our first attachment. This will be a VPC attachment for our spoke VPC1. Let's call this TGW VPC1 ATT. Choose the TGW, leave the attachment type as VPC, choose a VPC as VPC1. Let's create. Similarly, let's create one for VPC2. Let's choose VPC2 this time. Now let's create our transit VPC attachment as VPN attachment. Let's create attachment. Let's call this TGW transit VPN TT and associate it to a TGW. And this time change the attachment type as VPN. Let's create a new customer gateway. This will be the public IP address of our C8KV in transit VPC. So let's copy that. Let's use BGP and leave the BGP ASN as 65,000. Let's provide the tunnel IP addresses from the 169.254.0.0 range. 
let's use 169.254.10.4 slash 30 for tunnel 1 reset key as cisco 1 2 3 4 5 and for tunnel 2 we'll use 169.254.10.8 slash 30 with the same preset key AWS will always use the first IP on its side from this pool. Let's go to customer gateway. This is now available. Let's go to site to site VPN connections. And if we go to the tunnel details, we have two tunnels which are currently marked as down. Let's take a note of their public IP addresses as we will need them while configuring IPsec on the C8KV in our transit VPC. Let's go back to transit route tables and associate our attachments to the respective route tables. Let's click associations, create association. Let's choose our VPN attachment. Let's choose our VPC route table. Let's go to associations, create association. Let's choose a VPC1 attachment. Similarly, let's go ahead and associate a VPC2 attachment as well. This is where we will end part 1 of this video and we'll resume the rest in part 2. So, see you in your next video. Thanks for watching.